But the economic downturn has hit home once again, this time in Long Beach. A band that's been around for more than 100 years could soon be performing for the last time. KCL 9 Susie Sa joins us live from Long Beach now, where budget cuts have claimed a longtime fixture of that yeah. city. Susie. Well, Lena, for more than 100 years, these summer concerts have been extremely popular. In fact, some came out here to the park at 4.30 this morning just so that they can get a really good seat for tonight's concert. It's a chance to experience some beautiful music and listen to some history. In Long Beach at the Marine Stadium, the sound of horns, history resonate. Started going to the concerts in El Dorado Park in the 1950s. And Sterling Clayton is entranced by an eclectic ensemble once again. It's as classy as any you'd find in the world. Okay, I mean, it's a great band. It's a tradition that's been played out to the tune of more than 100 years. World War I, World War II, they, they, they played and, and sent the troops into war and, and met them on the troop ships when they came back. The Long Beach Municipal Band was started in 1909. Today, it's the oldest band of its kind in the country. John Philip Sousa guest conducted this band at one time. To think of that in itself is just amazing. After 32 years of playing saxophone, Mike Whitman fears it could be one of his last songs. I just love playing in this band. You see, it costs the city more than $400,000 a year to keep the band, and recent budget cuts are leaving things on a low note. We've watched kids grow up. To, at these concerts, you know, people that come that I saw as kids who are now adults that are bringing their kids. Residents are orchestrating their own efforts to save the band. I don't think the community is going to let this go. Especially after more than a century of symphonies, many are hopeful the melodic memories won't ever go flat. And I hope it goes on for long past me, my lifetime. And residents have also started their own nonprofit organization to raise money for the band. Now, if they don't raise enough money by next summer, well, tomorrow night could be the band's last performance. For your live from Long Beach tonight, Susie Sa, KKL 9 News. Sylvia and Lena, back to you.